Hey guys, it's Karen from Confetti and Curves and welcome to my channel. Thanks so much indeed for watching. Um, today I have something a little bit different than my usual sort of beauty chatter and all the rest of it. Today I have a homeware haul. Um, on Thursday, I had mentioned, I think it was last Thursday anyway, on my blog, that I was going to Ikea to pick up a sort of a few bits and pieces and that there and some of you guys wanted to see what I had bought. So I've got a couple of little things here, not a huge amount, and um, you'll be sort of pleased to hear, but I just think they're sort of, they're really handy, and I thought I would share it with you guys because you might want to pick them up too. I've also got another couple of wee things as well too that I didn't get from Ikea, but I wanted to show you as well, because you know, it's a home war haul and I might as well. So anyway, first thing I'm gonna show you is, is this here, it's called, this is called Skurar. And this is actually a little plant pot. Um, I think this here was around about the sort of three, four pound mark um, from Ikea. I really, really, really like this. I love the fact that it's this nice sort of, you know, ivory color and the like little lacy kind of metal top to it. I just think this is really pretty for putting makeup brushes in. So I picked one of these here up. They also do sort of smaller baby ones. I think I have another one of these here. Um, but um, obviously sort of with the big blusher brushes and things like that there, there's just sort of, you know, plenty of room to, you know, carry all those in. So yeah, so that's gonna sit very nicely on my cosmetic table uh, for my brushes. So I love it. There we go. Um, next thing I picked up for my cosmetic table as well too, sort of where all my makeup and bits and pieces is, um, is this little placemat. Now it is a placemat. It's a silvery grey kind of colour and it is, I suppose, like a sort of plasticky, just a basic sort of plasticky. It's kind of like interwoven, but the reason that I picked this up is because um, the cosmetic sort of desk is very white and new and beautiful and all the rest of it and I do like to paint my nails and you know sometimes I do sort of you know get a wee bit sort of curlless and all the rest of it or drips or whatever or nail varnish and I just I don't want it going on to my nice new cosmetic table so I thought this here would be a nice wee way to sort of you know put any nail polishes or paint my nails on and stuff like that there or even sort of set makeup items and that there as I'm using them so um yeah it's basically just a little kitchen coaster and this was I think about £1.50, £1.70 so that's going to come in really really useful I don't have a name for that there there's no name on it but uh, yeah there's a whole range of colours and stuff and uh, so that's good for spills and things and sort of keeping things clean um, next thing I picked up, and I can't show you guys, this is actually part of my mum's birthday present, but um, because this will be uploaded anyway after she sees it, or sorry, after she gets this here, um, I don't mind showing you. So this here is um, a makeup, well it's actually a, gosh what would you call them, like a sort of wash bag type thing, but they're just, they're so roomy, and I love the zips on these here because they're really strong and sturdy. It has like little metal inserts in it. Anyway, I featured mine. I must sort of pop the link below for you. I've had one of these here for ages and they just, they just, they're so good. They have like a little inner zippy pocket and it's a white clean inside. So if you're looking for a really good cosmetic or makeup bag, this is such a nice one from Ikea and it is raspberry colour. Again, I think this was sort of around about the four or five pounds mark. I'm trying to see what you call it. What do you call it? No, there's no name on this here. Oh, no. No, no I don't even know. I don't, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna attempt that one. But anyway, it's like a sort of wash bag, cosmetic type bag. It's really nice for around about five pounds. Mum spotted mine um, quite a few months ago and has always said that she wanted one. So I have finally, yeah, finally got her one. So there we go. So uh, if you're on the lookout for a makeup bag, that is a really, really good one. Moving on then um, to more sort of storage. I spotted this here, which is a nice sort of glossy white kind of container and I have like a sort of like a lot of little bottles and lotions and potions and sort of facial soaps and micellar waters and all sorts of things not there sort of sitting around on the cosmetic desk so I thought that this here would be really really nice to keep them all in 
This was four pounds, I couldn't believe it. And they had a smaller one, which I think was sort of around about two pounds as well too, sort of half the size. But I just like this because it would be, you know, just I just thought it was nice and roomy. And I love this kind of glossy white. And because that's like the cosmetic sort of desk type thing, I thought that's going to look really well. So I can keep everything in that. And it just looks a lot more contained rather than sort of, you know, set around the table itself or the desk itself. It just looks a bit more contained. So, yeah, I love that. I just think it's perfect. I mean, there's just so many things you could do with that. I just think it's so, so, so handy for cosmetics and things like that. So that's another good refind. And then sticking with Ikea, um, I did pick up then a couple of glasses. I know they're sort of not beauty related things, but I do love these glasses. My husband, just he's mad about them. This is the sort of soda type of glass. It's just the Ikea soda glasses. And um, let's see. These here are 50p each. Now they're really heavy, chunky big glasses. Kind of what you would get like in an American diner sort of themed restaurant over here anyway. And um, they're just, they're lovely. They're really, really, really nice. They hold a lot and all the rest of it. So if you like a nice big chunky glass for your juice or whatever, this is definitely the one to go for. And 50p, I picked up six of these here. So we had them before, but obviously over time they get chipped and you know, they sort of fade in the dishwasher and stuff like that. So it's nice to get six nice new ones now. And my sister who was with me, she spotted these really kind of cute little, do you know, I don't know what they remind, it's kind of like, like a wee beehive or something, I don't know. They remind me of something like that, I don't know. But uh, these were 50 pH as well. Picked up four of these and I think Leah picked up four of these as well too. She had spotted them before me and it said, oh, the cute little glass. It's just like a sort of like a purpley tinge to it. Um, but I just thought these were nice if you don't want, you know, one of the big sort of heavy, you know, sort of soda type glasses. And, uh, you know, you just want to like a nice wee honey drink or even Emma, whenever she has a wee friend, they're right not there for dinner. They're just a nice sort of wee small glass that's not too heavy and too clunky like the bigger ones. And again, they were 50 pH, so I'm really happy with those. And then moving on then to a couple of other wee things that I picked up uh, that aren't from Ikea. Um, I think these here, I think this one here is from a shop called B&M Bargains. I guess it's like a sort of homeware, for those of you who don't know it, like a sort of homeware type shop um, that does well, pretty much everything actually. There's homeware, bath, bedding, um, sort of, you know, a few food type sort of stuff, some biscuits and snacks and all that there kind of thing. Um, cards and stationery and stuff. It's a pretty good shop. But I spotted one of these here. This is a picnic blanket. I already have one. I am really digging really brightly coloured stripes at the moment. I'm just into really nice bright colours. And um, yeah, so I spotted this and I thought this is really, really, really nice. It is fleece on one side and it's sort of like a waterproof thing on the other side. So even if the ground or wherever you're going is even sort of still a wee bit damp or whatever or dewy or something like that there, this is brilliant. You know, you're not gonna have wet bums after sitting on this here. It's also really good for the beach too. Um, so love it, picked it up and I think this was around about the sort of four pounds mark uh, from B&M Bargains. It's uh, one and a half meters, yeah sorry 150 centimeters by 120 centimeters so it's a good enough size and like I say because we have another one, got two of them now so we have plenty of room um, for you know picnic-y stuff when we go to the beach or out and about or whatever. Um, and then the last thing that I picked up, I actually had two of these before and I spotted another one when I was out and about. These are like like a little hanging kind of hook system type thing and these are really, really handy if for the like of scarves, belts, uh, costume, jewellery, sort of, you know, necklaces, that kind of thing, um, hair bands, whatever, and it just looks super super pretty so i'm going to put that there on the wall and i'll hang sort of my scarves and things like that there from it and um, because i have loads and loads and loads of sort of like fancy wee neck scarves uh, sorry neck scarves and uh, necklaces and sort of things like that so i love that i love anything like that there with any sort of you know shabby chic sort of little thing i just think it's super cute so uh, very batikish, but I did have a couple of those before and like I say they're under five pounds and I think again it was either BM Bargains or Dunelm, I can't remember which one, but it's one of those two shops and they usually have lots of things like that in anyway. 
so um, they're just really handy for hanging bits and pieces on. So that's pretty much it. That's my sort of mini homeware type haul. Um, I hope you liked all these wee bits and pieces. I can't wait to get using them. And mum, I really hope you like your new makeup bag that you're going to fill with all your goodies and all your bits and pieces. Um, so that's about it guys. Um, don't forget uh, to pop over to my blog www.confettiandcurves.com. You can catch me there pretty much every day of the week. Um, or you can tweet me at Karen Heidi Reese. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the like. Make my day. And if you have a channel too, don't forget to put the link as well so I can go over and check out yours or your blog, whatever. Um, so anyway, thanks so much indeed for stopping by. Have a fabulous week and I will see you all again very soon. Bye!